Hi guys, this is Ratchet's Row, and we are playing Criminal Case, Mists of the Past, and we are going to case number 41 in Wall Street, and I actually forgot what we were doing. I haven't played this uh, in a few days, so... What a wonderful day it is, Katria. The sun is shiny, my social calendar is absolutely brilliant with events, and all the balls I put into the Google of company are sure to make me a rich man. They are good question of all you want, but I'm confident that no rush through. What a quiz. What is I was in flesh families would ever back a bad venture. And what's more, Miss Bernadine Rush has granted me another rendezvous. Now you could possibly deafen my mood. Chief, we just heard reports from murder by the swimming pool at the Grand Concordia Hotel. The Grand Concordia Hotel? Got there, take my line ahead to the Grand Concordia Hotel swimming pool. We must secure the crisis at once. Uh, you can talk all you want now, Chief. But I have a feeling something's gonna go wrong with this boss since you invested heavily in it. Don't trust the advertisements about what they say. They can, those people are lying. Expectation versus reality. Nobody's happy. Dude, what the fuck happened? What are all this? What the fuck? What happened to him? How did he die? Nice hotel, I like it. <laughs> Goodness gracious, Katia, this family is clearly our victim. A strong appears to have been burned straight through. Ah, burned. You are, it's almost if he's only. Ate away at his flesh, but what? Dick will know. Let's send the body to him. It's hard to identify who the gentleman was, but you must be someone of importance in order to frequent this hotel. You're right. If you drop this hotel staff, Bash should be able to identify the way for us. As soon as you can decipher the name written here. Okay. All right. So he goes for a swim, and what happens next? How does he die? We'll see about that. Oh, I already have a star. I didn't uh, see that. Alright, let's uh, do this patch. Can I, can I just dust it? No. B. Tucker. So now that badge is B. Tucker. And according to our records, there's a bird Tucker working as a barman at this hotel. With any luck, this Mr. Tucker will be able to inform us of our inside the Dicatria. Let's speak with him. Okay. And now I'm gonna need a star. Let's go talk to Bert. Good afternoon, madam. Might I interest you in a Bellini? No. I'm going to mention Katia and I are here on police business. We must get you the death of this child who was murdered right here by the pool. Oh goodness, yes, I'm glad you were right to deal with that. That's Joseph Pryor, a journalist. But Sir Pryor was a good customer. He used to come in every day for a drink in the lobby and then a swim. Uh, what can you tell us about him? I just know Mr. Pryor was a gossip journalist for the Concordian Gazette. I read his articles sometimes. And did you say we surprised the day prior to his death? You found your badge by the pool. Oh, I'm so careless. I lose my badge till I die. That's why I always keep a spare one about. But no, I never saw Mr. Pryor today. I've been manning the bar. If you'll excuse me, Katia, I must get back there to sue the customers. Well, Katia, we're going to need more leads than, to, to, than that soul Mr. Pryor's mirror. We must, we won't know we visited this lobby, so let us take a look around. Okay. Oh, talk to the town. I didn't even notice how the case is called. Alright, let's escape hotel lobby. Notebook? Well, of course you would need a notebook since you're a journalist.
Well, we know already if we could eat this and stop struggling here, so why'd you fight? Oh, and I sketch this dope who has a bit this name boy, but I liked it once. If you want a lot of accurate supplies to fix up those broken pieces, I'm all for it. Well, you're all for it to help me, and Isaac doesn't want to help me at all. Thanks for that, Maddie. Alright, first let's restore whatever that is. Reserve for Hector Hari. The Spectre, right? Get that aside, read reserve for Hector Hari. Is the worst kind of shitty bastard in my wife that's getting the murder count failing Jade Carnegie? Yeah, that guy. Judge about how he has his own reservation sign, he must be a regular here. That means he might have come across the victim. Must speak with Mr. Harvey. Okay. Alright, now victim's notebook, let's unlock it. Sorry, I messed up very hard. Jesus. I was hurrying this up now. It's been a while since I heard that beep, so. Let's get the shit out of me. You got the way this double up to a jiffy cut here. Let's see what's inside. Road just a road here is completely faded. A good dust should help recover the writing. Alright. Alright, now let's search this delivery crate. It's a bloody glow. Dash away, yet yeah, there's a bloody glow inside that crate. Right, I could well be off with this blood, but there's only one way to find out for sure. Let's add a glow to Viola. Alright. Three hours. Let's now dust this notebook. Bernadine Rochester. Oh, Princess Dodo. It was telling someone's movements. Katia, look at this Sundays, the races, Mondays, crooked. About this is the schedule. Bernadine Rochester. Wait, there's a bird in the rush the lady who Chief Wright is courting. I can't imagine he's going to be delighted about us talking to her. But I have no option but to question Miss Rushster about the way to keep tabs on her. Oh, did he also suspect something suspicious about Rochester's, just like who we are? Alright. Hello, dude. We meet again. Ha, you said that too. We meet the garbage, Katia. They find you have a need of my illegal expertise at last. Not quite. A Mr. Joseph Pryor has been murdered on the hotel grounds and we were wondering if you knew the gentleman. Joseph? He's dead? Indeed. How would you know the victim? Joseph was a treasure client. You see, his journal is a war, ruffled a few feathers. He published stories which offended people and I defended him from their lawsuits. It's a shame he's dead. We had a good thing going on. There was nobody Joseph was scared to attack in his articles. No any story he would defend for that matter. Your compassion is touched, Mr. Harvey. Don't go far, Mr. Katria may wish to speak with you again later. Uh, maybe we'll so find something that made you hate this guy. And we meet another Rochester. Seriously, how many of you are there? Mrs. Rochester? Mr. Katria and I from the flying squad. We're here. The fine squad, you say? Oh, how delightful. It must be Arthur's little minions. I'm sure he sent you to drop for a gift on his behalf. Uh, not quite so, Miss Ross. You were actually investigating the murder of a journalist Joseph Pryor. Pryor? Never heard of the man. 
Really? You say Fauci is noble, which clearly tell your movements. Much clearer when one is of my stature, journalists are bound to take an interest in one's life. I can't step out of the door without cameras in my face, but I'm sure you one does not really get so with journalists, and I could do without them following me everywhere. Now, feel as you have a luncheon. Good day to you. With our chief, right? Let's see what happened to Joseph. Hello there, Katia. How considerate it was of you that said is something a little different than usual. I tell you his throat burned through. You're welcome. But what may, what may I ask is in that flask? This flask contains sulfuric acid. It's a highly corrosive acid capable of causing several acid burns. You may be like the one our victim suffered. Precisely, and as such I can tell you that sulfuric acid is your murder weapon. He went to ingest this acid, burned it through his throat, and resulted in an exclusively painful death. There's no chance of it would have ingested it, no good meaning you'll kill him, but disguise its presence in a food or drink of some kind. How devious, Katria. What's more, this means that you're looking for a suspect who has access to sulfuric acid. So, our killer is in possession of sulfuric acid. I bet their ears are burning now, Katria. Oh, they're gonna burn if I when I arrest them, so So far you guys it killed you. God. Alright, now this bloody glow. Got I had a wonderful new idea about how to find my biological father. Hey, what might that be, Viola? I got to test all the genetic samples I can get my hands on. Everything you said before your cases, everything I crossed my path, everything in Concordia. I see, are you sure that's the best plan? Well, my first attempt hasn't been a success. There was no genetic material left on that glow you sent me that is at all relevant to my investigation. It is relevant to ours, however, so why can't you tell us about it? The bottom of the glow was indeed your victims. Which means that your killer tried to dispose of the glow after the murder. And in the absence of genetic material of the killer's glow, I saw the dirt on it and found some stains of a very particular type of grass, that of a golfing green. So our killer drew his golf. Sad for the jail is par for the course for full murder. Par. Heh, <laughs> birdie. Got there, I found Kokoria and Gazette Jill is just a prior murder next to the Grand Kokoria Hotel's swimming pool. His throat was burned through with acid, apparently concealed in something he ate or drank. Thanks to Hector Hart, who worked as a lawyer to defend the victim, we know that prior sensationalist journalism brought him a number of enemies. He also went birdie, Rochester, with. Katria, my life, you've gone too far this time. She's a suspect! If you are if you were talking about Berendine, she's a suspect. We needed to interrogate her. I will see you in my office. Right this instant. It's gotta have something to do with Berendine. I'm sorry, Chief. She's our suspect. What can I do? Can't just rule her out. Until I figure out if she's the killer or not. We'll see about that. We gotta stop here, we gotta continue playing chapter 2. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!